Alrighty guys, this is a early 80s Galaxy 12 inch tail fan that I got at the flea market for 15 bucks. Uh, this fan's in really nice shape, didn't really need much work when I got it. I've never even taken the motor housing off of this one because I looked in there, it's perfectly clean inside and it didn't need oil at all. Uh, it just needed a real light dusting on the outside. This fan looks like it's hardly had any use before. It still has five of its six cage clips and all six were there when I got it and the bottom one broke while I was taking it off, but that's alright. Uh, they kind of stamped the galaxy word off center on the badge. Kind of strange. Base plate's a little discolored somehow. Let's see if I can get that off one day. Uh, it's tell us the transition model because it doesn't have a handle, and the plastics are still made of the old material as opposed to this material, which is much softer and much harder to break. And I'll tell you what, this fan has a very creaky base, as you can see. Not sure why it's like that, but I can't get it to quit doing it. I tried taking the base plate off and putting it back on and all that, that just made it worse. So I'm not going to mess with it again. There we go. Uh, every one of these fans I've seen around here is usually all beat up or really messed up somehow, but this one's not like that at all pretty much mint condition. Let's go ahead and start it up. Whoa. Thankfully the base doesn't creak while it's running. I was scared it was going to. This fan's got a nice motor noise to it too. One thing that's just really surprising about this fan is that the chrome on the badge is in perfect condition. As opposed to that series I videoed, this one sure goes fast. This is how fast the series goes on high. Actually, opposed to most of these I have, this is a very fast fan. And like most galaxies, it's not balanced with a shed on high. At least most fast ones. It's moving a ridiculous amount of air, though. Let's go back down to low. Turn on the oscillator. As you can see, I definitely don't use the oscillator on this. Because the, it's not very smooth. And every time the head jumps, the base creaks. Actually, I don't use this fan much at all. I use my green sears. It's too noisy. Every time something touches it, the base creaks. It does work very well, though. I just need to take the oscillator apart and grease it so it goes smoother. Still a very good running fan. Like I said earlier, it goes really fast. This actually doesn't shake that bad. My blue galaxy shakes worse. This one definitely has a lot better of a coast down time than the series does. Probably because this is made of like three different fans that were laying in my parts pile. This is definitely one I gotta keep around just because it's a transition model fan and because it's in such nice shape. I do have another brown galaxy, it's in really good shape too, but it has bearing issues, it keeps on getting stiff on me. Then I have a late 80s galaxy that I don't know if I have a video of yet, but if I don't, I will pretty soon. I got a lot of new fans I got a video, didn't have a camera for a long time, now that I do, I got a whole lot of catching up to do, so expect a lot of new videos to be showing up soon. But anyway, thanks for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed.